Hi everyone. Today we're going to read a new book that is a fiction story about a dog who wanted to be a wolf. As we're reading today, we are going to think about what happened in the story in the beginning, the middle, and the end because we will be retelling the story as part of our activity for the book. You can also think about the characters and the setting. Remember, characters are who the story's about and the setting is where it happened and when it happened. So this is The Dog Who Cried Wolf and it was written and illustrated by Kaiko Kaza. There's the title page. Mocha was a good dog. He and Michelle loved to be together. Life was perfect until one day she read a book about wolves. Look, Mocha, said Michelle, you're kind of like a wolf. Wow, thought Mocha, I am kind of like a wolf. But look how amazing wolves are. They run around free, hunt wild animals, and stay up late to howl at the moon. So in the beginning of the story, Michelle showed Mocha a book about wolves. And look at the way I live, Mocha sighed. I'm nothing but a house pet. He felt like a failure, especially when Michelle made him dress up for her tea parties. He wanted to be a wolf. The next day, Mocha made up his mind. He snuck, snuck out of the house and took off for the mountains. He ran and ran and ran. Until finally, he reached a high mountaintop. I'm free, he yelped, free as a wolf. He ran, he jumped, he danced, and he peed wherever he wanted. Wow, he exclaimed, the world is mine. Do you think he likes being a wolf? Soon, Mocha got hungry. No problem, he cried. I'll hunt for my food just like the wolves do. And off he went. What do you think he's going to hunt? Maybe that rabbit. But a rabbit outran him. A skunk sprayed him. A beetle pinched him. And even a field mouse made fun of him. By nightfall, Mocha was miserable. He missed Michelle. I even miss her tea parties, he mumbled, but I can't give up yet. There is just one more thing I have to try. He gazed at the golden moon and howled as loudly as he could. Howl, just like a wolf. This is the middle of the story. He runs away and he starts behaving like a wolf. Suddenly, something howled back. How, how, and then again, how, Mocha froze. <gasps> wolves, he cried, real wolves. He turned and raced down to the mountain. I want to go home, he panted. I never want to be a wolf again. He ran and ran and ran. We're coming up on the end of the story until finally he reached the house he knew so well. Mocha, Michelle shouted as she dashed out to meet him. You're back. Mocha was home again and he and Michelle were oh so happy. Life was just perfect until one day she read a book about, can you see it? Monkeys. Now, what is Mocha wanting to do? Oh, not Mocha though, this time. That was the end of the story. So at the end of the story, he came home and Michelle read him a book about the monkeys. And then she acted like a monkey. So today for your activity, you are going to be telling what happened at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story, as well as tell about the characters and setting of the story. I can't wait to see your responses. See you later.